My primary desktop computer that I bought from Scan Computers is now nearly five years old. It's a custom 3SX build that cost me £2,400 and something with a similar spec today would still cost at least £1,000. So it's fared well over the past five years but now it's time to upgrade. So I'll be getting my next custom spec PC from Scan Computers again, aiming to pay a similar amount to last time, i.e. hopefully about £2,500. For a spec I'll continue to use for video and graphics, I am thinking to probably make the leap to 4K footage and artificial intelligence. That's deep learning in a Windows environment which means installing Google's TensorFlow and Python libraries. So I'm going to need a good NVIDIA core, that's for sure, with a high CUDA score. And so I've settled for this base system, the 3SX WI4000 Wiz, that starts at 2361. Oof. That's before I select my own components. So I think I'm going to go over 2500. Unless I can cut something down. Anyway, so what have we got? We've got uh, the motherboard. Let's start with the motherboard, which is an Asus Prime Z390A that supports two GPUs. That should be enough. Well, if I double the amount, I can get one, the Pro that supports four. So I'll keep the motherboard as is. Processor. Uh, it's got uh, i9-9900K Coffee Lake 8 core processor selected. Professionally overclocked. Well, I don't want to overclock it. So we'll put the clocking back to normal because I want it to last five years. Not shorten its life by overclocking. What about the performance of this CPU? Well, uh, Passmark says it gives it 20,217 which is against my i7 4790k of 11,000 so just under twice as powerful in terms of processing power which is good so I'll keep the processor as is and the price remains the same at 2361 what about um, water cooler what's it got here Corsa Hydro Series Performance Water Cooler. I'll leave it as is. You know, I've not had a water cooler before. Memory 32 gig RAM DDR4. Yep, my previous one had 32 gig RAM as well. DDR3. So 32 gig RAM is more than enough. Uh, the graphics card now. Last one had what? Um, GTX 970 I think they had 1664 CUDA cores they selected an 8 gig Quattro RTX 4000 with 2300 CUDA cores 835 pounds that's a lot let's see if I can uh, change this something similar has to be NVIDIA Oh, here we are, NVIDIA. Um, oh, here we go. 8 gig Geoforce RTX 2070, 2560 cores. Yeah, there's that. TI. Oh, that costs uh, 500. Um, RTX 2070. 2560 cores. Uh, we go with this one. Yeah. So we'll go with the Geoforce RTX 2070. That knocks the price down a little to 2066. I can always get a second one later on. I'll start with one. The one that they were selecting was too, too expensive. Where is it? I lost it. 
Yeah, this one it is. Quadro RTX 4000. 288 tensor cores. Hmm. Shall I select? I'm not. Um. Okay, I'm going to go with the one they selected. It's the 208 tensor cores that does it. Uh, so I'm going to be using it for deep learning. It is expensive. So that pops up the price to 2361 again. This machine is going to cost a lot. Right, then next we move to power supply. 550 for a single GPU. Well, if I later on get a second GPU, that's not going to be powerful enough, is it? And plus, you want to give yourself the system some room to breathe. You don't want to be utilizing more than 90% of the power supply. So, I'll I'll up that to for twenty pounds. I'll up it to six fifty. It's only twenty pounds. So now the system price is twenty three eighty two. Storage, yeah, this is gonna cost money. Solid state PCI Optane, PCI NAND. Okay, so let's see what's that. Cutting edge. What's the prices? Forget that. Twelve hundred pounds. Forget that. So one thing I learned from my previous system was uh, to have two solid state drives, one for the system, one for data. So let's have a look. Five hundred gig. Three thousand five hundred read. Three thousand two hundred write. Yeah, that's fine for the system. One hundred and ten pounds. 500 gig should be enough for the system. What about for a data drive? I want a fast one. Uh, solid state. 480 gig. I want a 1 terabyte. Let's go. 1 terabyte. Uh, 250. 530. That's not very fast, is it? 530 read, 430 write. This is can I get two or oh, sati? Let's have a look. Can I get a second? No. Can only have one solid state drive. That's NAND. That's PCIE. That's disappointing. So that uh, drive is okay for the system. I would have preferred to have a uh, two. Uh, Sati is going to slow down. This is disappointing. And uh, what's this? What? That's a bit disappointing. So I'm going to go for pay extra to get one terabyte. So I'll use it for data as well, even though you shouldn't. But I'll use it for cache, since it's given its fast read write. So I'll get one terabyte system drive that I'll also use as a cache. For the data, I'm going to use a one terabyte. Um, 500 read write. That's 135 pound. That system price is now 26.20. Okay, so we got um, two solid state drives system, which is one terabyte, and data one terabyte. So now we go on to storage for the video footage and everything else. Storage. What do we want? I want. I want around 20. 20 terabytes. My existing system got 12. So you got 8. Yeah, high endurance. Let's look at the high endurance. Uh, 8, 10. 2. Let's go for 2 10 terabyte drives. 
takes us to six three thousand three hundred and two pounds six hundred and eighty one pounds I've got this selected I don't want to remove a select high endurance three thousand two hundred forty-eight pounds that's too much I haven't even finished yet let's go down see I don't want optical drive don't want network uh, operating systems let's look Windows 10 Pro high-end let's see Windows 10 Windows 10 Pro okay Windows 10 Pro high-end is okay so we'll stick with operating system don't want any additional hardware or peripherals. Don't want virtual reality for fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah, don't want UPS. I'm okay with warranty. Right. So the system price is twenty three forty eight for the spec. So what? Are, let's see what we can do to reduce that. That's too much. I think the graphics card um, let's, let's pop the graphics card down to one I originally selected which is the NVIDIA 8 gig RTX 270 with 2560 cores so that knocks the price down to under 3000 at 2953 so what else can we knock down um, so obviously I'm going to have to this 300 pounds what's this one terabyte which driver I got selected yeah that's fine selected one terabyte 254 let's change that to the cheaper one Yeah. Not. Oh, here's the cheaper one. I've sl I've selected the cheaper one. So that's one three five. The next big jump is the high end drives. That's too much. Twenty terabyte for seven hundred pounds. I'll use one of my existing drives. So let's go for two of these see what that comes to 540 now let's go for six terabyte two of them yeah that's so that's 12 what about the mid performance six terabyte let's go for two of them Eight terabyte, two of them. Okay, so three hundred eighty-five pound. That's three hundred pound less for eight terabyte Seagate Barracuda fifty-four hundred. They're not very really fast. But they, they're not going to be doing any heavy work. That'll be done by the two um, solid state. Don't know if it's going to impact on a 4K though. Slower drive. Put one of my uh, Western Digital Blacks in for video as well. So that'll be 16 plus 20. That'll make it 20. 20 terabyte. So what's the price now? 26.56. I think that's it. So that's the system config I've got. Asus Prime Z390A sports two GPUs. 
and Intel Core i9-9900K not overclocked at 480 uh, 32 gig RAM DDR4 140 graphics card we've got one GPU 8 gig EVGA Geoforce RTX 270 at 540 I can always put a second one in if I need to and we've got uh, 650 watt power supply 85 pounds got a uh, 1 terabyte solid state drive 212 pounds second solid state drive 136 pounds but a lot slower SATA drive you know the system drives at what is it uh, read 3500 right 3300 whilst the SATA is 550 and 520 so a big difference so I'll probably use the system drive for caching as well and this for secondary work you know for video editing yeah as a temporary whilst the storage drives I've selected just the mid-range at 5400 rpm that's pretty slow that's pretty slow Anyway, system comes to 2656. That's what I'm going to go for. Yeah, it's a Tabasco and buy it. There we go. So there's the system. Make sure it's the same. One terabyte, one terabyte. Um, 650 looks similar spec where's the other hard drives oh there we go 8 terabyte SATA hard drive should be two of them Two times eight terabyte. So that's the system. Check out as guest twenty six fifty six. Collect in store. Here's the store. Let's deliver. Okay, so I'm going to buy that. The twenty six fifty six. That'll be my next PC. No, for the last five years. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Price is a lot more than I thought it'd be. Spec slightly under. I would have preferred faster hard drives. 5400 